Hey guys, good morning. I'm the Bronx Hippie and today I wanted to talk to you about being present in the garden without gardening. Setting up different seats and places to sit in the garden makes you more active in the garden. I've noticed the more places I have to sit, the more I look around, notice things I haven't noticed before in my garden. Like even right here, behind here, some apple mint growing, I mean pineapple mint that I thought didn't even come back, but it did. And I wouldn't have noticed if I didn't sit right here. So I wanna talk about placement of chairs inside of our gardens and or food forests. So the right placement for a chair inside of a food forest can change everything. It'll make you wanna be more active in your garden. It'll make you wanna sit down, have a cup of coffee in your garden. It's gonna make you enjoy looking at everything. Most of us who garden would be more than willing to go to pay to look at gardens and stuff like that. When you can honestly look at your own garden a lot more, a good chair will have you appreciating all the work you put into your garden. Good placement of a chair can make you realize how much work you really have done how much time you really have put into your area and your space. Just sitting in this chair right here, the perspective I get on everything makes me so proud of myself. I've put in so much work. I, I see all the money I've spent coming to good use. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful view. It really and truly is so. My suggestion to you is to get a whole bunch of places where you can sit in your garden. In a few minutes, I'm going to get up and I'm going to show you the table I have, a random chair I have, um, some stones where I like to sit. Right now, we're underneath my, um, my half moon trellis. And I strategically put these bricks, these cinder blocks here because they're going to hold down my trellis, but I also... When it's really, really filled, I can hit one of these in my garden. And I have my trellis tied up. It's tied up to my other trellis, tied up to that gate. And it's just like a really good time. I hear some kids screaming. There's a little day camp over here. They have whistles and they're screaming. So they're having a really good time. And from right here, I'm looking at my peaches. My peaches are starting to swell on the tree. I can see some of my pears swelling up. The, the little bit of water that is sitting on everything right now because it was raining this morning. It's literally so beautiful. This is stuff that you can, you can pay to look at, but you don't have to. It's really beautiful and you get to see your failures you get to see your mistakes when you're when you're sitting like over there I'm looking at my Italian dwarf plum tree and when I first got it I took one of the canes that was shooting this way and I kind of drug it this way and that's a fail because I need to trim that I need to trim that it's just growing in the wrong direction and I pulled it to the wrong direction I'm looking at my bramble of berries. Um, very, very compacted. It's like my most beautiful guild. I'm guild building now and I'm getting to look at it from, you know, different. When you sit and that's also a big thing. When you sit in different spots in your garden, you look at things in different ways. So I would suggest, like I said, having multiple seats. Multiple seats would give you different views on things. Like I want a, a chair in the back of my coneflower um, patch, my flower bed patch that I have over there. I would really like a chair back there. I think I'm gonna put one back there. One of my tall chairs. And I also suggest um, it might be tacky to some people, but if you have like chairs that can spin, those are well. Those are really really good because you can sit in them and turn and look at different parts of your garden. And that's one of my favorite chairs. And then just having a, a place where everybody can come together and sit 
and appreciate the garden is also a big plus it'll it'll bring you joy to see other people sitting in the space you created and them being able to view it and enjoy it i think that would do anybody a great justice this coffee is really good so let's go let's go look at my table and my chairs and let's go see the places i have that i can sit right here i have my little spinny chair i love it it's like in the middle of the food forest i get to spin and look all around i get to do one of these so i love this and i have a little table in front of it and over here i have to move all of my soil because i don't want my soil this close to my table and yes i have to clean the table but i love this right here it's shaded by a nice white mulberry tree but it is in a space where you can see everything like i said placement of chairs is everything this is a great space for other people to come and enjoy what i have created and i i love that i love that and then over here i know I'm not, i shouldn't be sitting on my paw paws but i do this a lot because these are crates oh look at beautiful flowers and i just sit i just sit on the crate and the paw paw is in there it's living its best little paw paw life and i do on that one as well so maybe set up some crates and corners or something like that and that can help you out as well I have, I finally staked up my apple tree because it was growing very much vertical, which we didn't want. Now it should do just fine. See, beautiful. It may not look beautiful to you, but for me, this placement is everything. It show, it's, I'm very close to, look, let's show you guys, look. And we're just spinning and spinning. And it's a great view. It's a great view. It truly is. Hopefully, if you're able to get some places to sit down in your space, you do that. If you need an affordable way to do it, I would highly suggest going to a school in your community if you want um, crates to do that. When they get their lunches in, they also get in a ton of milk crates which they usually just put back into the recycle so if you want to save something from ending up in a landfill or something like that i would highly suggest going to your local public school and asking them if you can get the milk crates that they get when they get their lunch meals um you can also ask i live in new york so um we call them bodegas corner stores restaurants anybody who gets in shipments of food you can ask them if they have any crates that you can take off of their hands you know so again great placement of a chair will have you really enjoying your space like this is another reason i love this chair because look you can see the whole half moon when you're like this it's great like in the video it looks good so that's another reason why i really do enjoy Please it stay tuned put your post notifications on i'm gonna be making videos almost every day um tomorrow i'll be updating you guys on my vegetable garden that's on the other side of this specific um house on this specific property and then the next day i'll be showing you the candy cane garden and i think after that i will start doing my video my plant specific videos which is going to be like i'm going to do a video just on the king of the north grapes because i never see videos on that i'm going to do a video on my somerset grapevine because i found one of a little girl eating them she was picking them off of her um grapevine and then one of somebody from a different country who spoke a different language and he was just pruning them so i would just like to you know put more information out about them and my italian dwarf plum tree i see a lot of damson plum trees but this is uh different they're almost the same but different um just little things like that like my my chocolate persimmon tree so just you know post notifications on and you guys will be kept up to date on all of that stuff i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that it made you think about getting a chair putting it in your garden sitting down grabbing a cup of joe grabbing a cup of tea grabbing a cup of orange juice apple juice water whatever you drink and just coming out into your garden and being more present 
be present in the garden enjoy what you've done enjoy all the things that you've put into your garden this is a labor of love and you should enjoy it so um we'll be back with another one soon i hope that you guys enjoyed and yeah leave a like comment down below um sub 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 share this with your friends and yeah thank you guys for supporting the bronx hippie pull up to my garden watch my other videos um be down with the game